Beautiful sunrise. Hopefully a couple of fish are gonna bite here. It's an ounce and a half. I'm kind of slow rolling it off the bottom here. These reds fish here really just swim around this whole perimeter. Always on the hunt. Looking for a meal. I'm sure a couple might choose a rock or two to kind of lay up on, but they're usually hunting if you ask me. Good fish. Please don't be a shark. I don't think so. He was sitting on those rocks. I'm going redfish most likely. Definitely an over slot right there. Yeah. So it's uh, mid morning now. Well, not even. Uh, I'm headed off the beach to do some, probably my last hurrah at Flounder. Uh, looks like our season's closing Labor Day. And on top of that, weather does not look really conducive to do that sort of fishing for a little bit. So uh, I'm headed off there now. Honestly, my fish finder is not working. So. Uh, I really can't like tell you. I mean, it's working to a degree, but uh, for whatever reason, I'm not getting a clear image out of it. So I'm gonna. There is some good random rocks here where these Spanish are popping. So uh, we'll jig here for a minute. I'm gonna pull up on a ledge and see what's gonna happen. I mean, I feel like we might have hit a season change, and I should really look around everywhere and see what I could pull. Maybe we we'll get a couple flounder here. Listen, I caught a cobia the other day, so that's keeping me kind of on my toes that I might start seeing more of those. I do wish my fish finder was working because it's kind of frustrating. So you get a little sand on this stuff, you're screwed. So anyway, Elias bitches and moans a lot um, for no reason. Let's go catch a couple fish. This is a one ounce Mackinac shad. He's seen a little little experience. Let me get on this ledge. Uh, see what we can catch. Maybe some flounder first. And then we'll work our way out to the heavier structures. That is not good though. Not what I want. The old bluefish. You know what? Oh, do I want to fight with sharks? Ah, he's bleeding out. Let's keep. Let's keep him. We'll use him for strip bait for flatties. You never know what else we can get. I don't, don't know. Find out though. Don't be a shark. Don't be a shark. Not too much fight. I might have foul hooked something here. It's probably 
a shark. It's gonna be a screwed up shark, isn't it? Oh God, woof woof. Sharp nose, I think. We're gonna move on from this one, that means. Yeah, sharp nose shark. Well, let's see if I can get my, my jig back, probably not. That's worse than a dogfish, these things. It's not too much worse. God. These things suck, man. God, he smells terrible. Whew. Dude, that thing smelled awful. All right, one more, one more pass here, and then we're gonna move to another area. I think there's a lot of sharks here, isn't there? That felt pretty sharky, that take too, man. Please don't be a shark. It was a hit. It didn't feel like a shark when it hit. Haven't seen it yet. Oh yeah, it's more silver salmon. All right, we gotta move. This one's pretty simple. Making a move. So that sucked. That was covered in sharp nose sharks. Want nothing to do with them. Uh, onward to the next uh, location. Let's see what happens. Alrighty. So right here we got ourselves some fresh bluefish, which is nice. One thing about bluefish is slimy stuff. So there's not too many sharks here. So. I think we might have made the right move. A couple bluefish strips. Try for a bigger fish today. See if we get like a five pounder close out the season. Got him. Got him. That's a fluke, actually. Summer flounder. Yeah, it's as big of a fluke I've seen around here. But we'll put him back. Yeah, you can tell he's got all those oscillated spots. All right, so we got one keeper flounder, not much size. We got another one, maybe like 16 off camera. So no, nothing quality, so making moves. A couple more moves right now. Let's see if we find anything good. Hopefully we do. Big drop off right there. Flounder. Oh, not too good, but not bad. 17, somewhere around there. Could put them back though. I want to keep a couple bigger ones. I got so much meat. That's another keeper, so doing a little number. Fishing the natural bottom. Oh no, don't be the shark. No, I don't think that's a shark. It's probably a shark though. Oh, cool, nice. It's weak fish, huh? Unfortunately, we bled him out, so not a huge fan of weak fish, but you know what? We'll make an interesting recipe out of him. Pounder, pounder, baby. Found us a good spot for sure. Yeah, that's a better one. It's 
nice. It's a better flounder. 18, 19. I like that. Weak fish and flounder living in harmony. That's a good fish, actually. So, picking away. Definitely doing the multi species stuff. I would be third keeper flounder today, but I want to keep like 18 to 19, stuff like that. More bigger if I somehow miraculously have that luck. So what do I look for when I've come to finding natural bottom, right, to catch these sorts of fish? <laughs> today it's all about just finding a spot without sharks on. That's all I need is a no shark spot. And yeah, I think we found it today, thankfully. I'm just jigging a one ounce mini mac. Uh, 45 feet of water. This thing kind of drops pretty quick into like 46, 47. There you go, kind of. It's a lot of this sort of subtle relief from North Carolina. That's a good one. These ledges are fun though, huh? Another flounder. Gotta pick it apart. Be another keeper, but we'll put him back. Decent golf flounder, right? So today we actually caught a keeper southern flounder, a keeping keeper golf flounder right here in my hands, and a keeper fluke or summer flounder. All three species in one day. That's cool, isn't it? That's a flounder, it's a good one. It is. Good one. That's not as big as I thought, but decent, decent fish. Otherwise, can't keep him. Thought it was gonna be a five pound for sure. The way that thing hit. Nothing wrong with another 18, right? Taking, taking a, trying to take a take a step out of the quality book here. Another decent fish though. Just picking him off this ledge here. Nice flounder again. Decent gulf flounder, man. That's the biggest gulp, I, gulp I've caught in a while. Nice one, actually. Yeah, we can keep him. Number three. Third one we're keeping here. It's a good one. Holding it up, baby. Number four, and a good one to end it all out on. All right, it's a pretty decent fish. It's my last flounder, legal flounder, I guess, whatever you want to call it, this season. So, and uh, well, it's the last one I'm keeping. There you go, that's a good fish. 21, 20 incher. Decent, decent stuff. Made the most of it. No giants to close the season out, but I'm happy with that one. Oh, that doesn't mean I have to go in. I'm gonna work work my way in slowly. So any more fish we get, we'll release. Maybe we'll get that big one and put them back for another day. And that's okay. So that's a good fish. All right, so I'm headed in. Uh, overall, not a bad day of fishing. Worked the jig all day. I didn't see anything up top. I tried for a carabuda. And uh, now I'm headed in. There'll be affiliate links in the video's description of rods and reels, setups I use, cooler bags. So I hope you enjoy it. That's kind of my swan song for flounder. Uh, from here, we'll do more live lining videos like we did the other week. We'll start looking for big reds. Uh, we'll do more redfish stuff. And uh, yeah, speckled trout. And hopefully a good sign of maybe a shot at a cobia this fall as I caught one short yesterday and today. I saw one follow up a small sea bass. 
and these aren't big ones but hopefully there's some movement as i said there's yellow butterflies uh around here every section of the country uh people have like a a reference point uh that the season has changed yellow butterflies kind of indicate fall so crowds were low was not crowded at all today uh fishing was pretty good so bring on favorite time of year which is fall fishing uh beach crowds are over kids are back in school it's a totally different game from here on out so we'll start fishing hard and i'm not roasted after a day of fishing in the sun I'm not fishing in 95s anymore so uh all is well so i hope you guys enjoyed uh everything today came on natural bottom no artificial stuff so i just fished ledges today and they worked out so doesn't always work out but today it did so